you hear the gunshots going off. These are people who uh, keep their guns loaded, or at least they're keeping them loaded now. But you know what? A lot of the same people who come out here and practice regularly will go home and then store their gun without anything in the chamber. Why would anybody carry a gun that doesn't have, it isn't ready to go, David the Marine? Let me see your war face. You got a war Elderton. face? Well, Lee, Matthew. <laughs> Uh, most people carry it with a, an empty chamber because uh, they don't want an accident. Um, which they're basically saying they're not good enough to carry a gun yet. Yeah. So they don't trust themselves to carry a gun yet. So they, they keep the chamber empty. Uh, they might cite the Israeli uh, forces, you know, they carry a chamber empty. Oh, do they? They do. But that's not a good reason for you to do it. No. Uh, there's a lot of reasons not to do it. Uh, one thing would be you need two hands. And if you don't have two hands, like you don't have your wife or girlfriend, preferably not both. Yeah. <laughs> but you, you got to not get them out of the way as you, you know, take take care of the problem, um, or you're holding your your daughter or something, or any other number of reasons why you're not going to have two hands available to chamber that that round. But a lot of people say, well, it's just as fast chamber empty as it is chamber loaded. Let's see if that's true. Let's put them both to the test. You're ready to go. I am ready to go. Uh, I'm going to start with hand on the gun because yeah. it's. Testing how fast we get a shot off on target versus how fast I can get to the gun. Stand by. 0 0.89. 0 0.87. So 87, 89. Yeah. Chamber loaded. Okay, now let's try it with the chamber unloaded. Chamber empty. Stand by. 1.47. That was a bad one, I agree. Yeah, well. <laughs> Stand by. 1.24. Stand by. 1.14. This is my bouncy baby boy. Yeah. Stand by. 2.14. Wow. <laughs> so the difference in time was about uh, four tenths of a second, which doesn't sound like a lot, but I presume they have two hands available yeah and the last one was uh 214 which was uh one and a quarter seconds uh longer than it needed because i, I had a, a, an arm engaged and you had an unchambered gun so you're right. trying to sit there and chamber it right without a hand and if i'm holding something or i'm fighting off somebody uh if i have a loaded gun you know i'd be back in the 88 range instead of the 2.14 range and a second and a quarter is a lifetime in a gunfight Maybe yours. Well, and the other thing is that it just proves that it's probably easier for you to practice safety with the gun loaded than to worry about the safety of it being unloaded. Right. Guns for everybody, no matter how you carry. 